A very warm welcome back to today's Aviation News Recap. There is a big forecast for new planes to cover and a lot of airline expansion to destinations right around the world. So let me not waste any more of your time and jump right into it with our first major expansion coming from Level. Level is part of the International Airlines Group, or more commonly referred to as just simply IAG, and has revealed an expansion of its transatlantic network in preparation to meet upcoming demand. One of Level's most significant announcements comes in the form of an inaugural flight towards Miami from Barcelona, which is slated to commence on the 31st of March 2024, marking of course a new destination for the airline. However, the low-cost carrier based in Spain will also expand its services to other destinations as soon as the 28th of October 2023 in preparation for the winter season. Notably, Santiago de Chile alongside Buenos Aires will have their respective services increased. Santiago will grow to five flights per week with Buenos Aires rising towards nine per week, this all being from their home in Barcelona. Level operates with a fleet of five Airbus A330s. This is split between the A330-200 and the A330-300, with it being established in 2017 to overall be a bid to offer low-cost transatlantic operations to customers. While at the time it was definitely a lucrative market, it has sometimes been a bit challenging for companies to really sustain low-cost operations with so much competition from legacy carriers. In fact, while we have seen so many airlines in the end emerge, we've also equally seen so many airlines collapse by offering a similar model, or have to reduce their operations and shift their focus elsewhere. The backing, though, of the International Airlines Group, which is home to the likes of Iberia, British Airways, and Aer Lingus, has undoubtedly aided level in its long-term sustainability offering these flights. Overall, though, the transatlantic expansion will be made possible thanks to more Airbus A330s reportedly being readily and made available. Despite being registered by Iberia, also under IAG, they will eventually fly for level and be on these services to allow for an increase in capacity. Moving along to a pretty exciting forecast from Boeing, following their latest commercial market outlook, which sees China more than poised to continue its recovery, playing a significant role in required aircraft for the future. The American plane maker predicts through its CMO that 8,560 aircraft will be delivered to companies in China from 2030 from 2023 to 2042. Notably, 350 of these units will be for regional jets. The main bulk, as you would expect, is 6,470 for single aisles like your 737 Maxes and 1,550 wide bodies. Boeing further notes that 190 freighters will be required in these markets too. As per the Boeing Vice President for Commercial Marketing, domestic air travel in China has already surpassed pre-pandemic levels and international traffic is recovering steadily, something that we have seen over time given the restrictions that were placed on Chinese cities and more it did become very difficult for their recovery to be seen as other markets quickly rose. China's economy and traffic is also reported to be growing, and Boeing's complete lineup of commercial jets is slated to play a big role in helping meet both growth but also doing so in a sustainable and economical manner. While the required aircraft is always going to be the vital headline, there'll need to be a significant increase in personnel to help power all this new demand and aircraft deliveries, with China requiring a staggering 433,000 new aviation workers across the next 20 years per this forecast. Of the 433,000, this does include 134,000 pilots, 138,000 technicians, and the highest amount comes in the form of cabin crew with 161,000. Given the industry shortages, and you could definitely put forward the case of the struggle to train people in specific roles, there'll need to be significant investments in promptly making this all happen, as well as dedicated pathways to getting people into these roles. 2023 marks 50 years of Boeing serving China following an order in 1972 for 10 of the 707s, which at the time was revolutionary as China really looked to modernize its overall commercial fleet. 
From there, the region has only seen steady growth continue in available equipment, and also as they've seen the continued advancements in technology, they've integrated this into their respective airlines. It'll definitely be an exciting 20 years for China, but I think for widely the world as Boeing continues to update these commercial outlooks. Sticking though with China, from October 31st, China Eastern will resume flights towards Brisbane from Shanghai. The return is part of China's commitment to restoring services to Australian cities, with Sydney and Melbourne being a priority. China Eastern will specifically deploy an Airbus A330 through to Brisbane initially thrice weekly, with a vision to ramp the service up to daily from December 8 as part of expansion plans to match peak tourist demand. While China has made headlines announcing its return, China Southern will also return to Brisbane from November 17th, this being from Guangzhou. It really does just add further connections to Asia from Brisbane as part of the rebuild. Shanghai is considered as an important city on the Brisbane network with a more significant population than Australia combined. It is also China's most prominent commercial hub. Therefore, the focus won't just be on leisure travellers, but also on being a route readily available for business demand. In 2024, the view is that China will regain its place as the number one source for inbound tourists into Queensland. No doubt a pretty big title that China will reclaim as critical cities in Queensland, such as your Brisbane, Gold Coast and more, are set to welcome travellers back in sheer numbers. Moving from China and staying in the realm of Australia, Bonza, which is one of the newest airlines in the country, has unveiled plans to introduce Darwin and Alice Springs as their latest destinations. The airline is set to be responsible for what can only be said as a large wave of connectivity to the Northern Territory. By adding 12 new weekly flights, these 12 weekly flights are spread across three routes launching over the coming months. It includes Melbourne to Alice Springs, Sunshine Coast to Darwin, and Gold Coast to Darwin, which will all be launched. And as a result, 116,000 new seats annually will be propelled into the top end and red centre. Bonza, as you may know, operates exclusively with a fleet of 737 Maxes, and is continuously adjusting its route network to meet demand. It has since launched announced a host of new services, but alongside that, route cuts, as it really trials segments to find the perfect sweet spot. The routes are labelled as exciting and come from the Northern Territory's government's visionary Territory Aviation Attraction Scheme. Such a scheme is wholly responsible for fostering greater competition in the skies of the Northern Territory, while also expanding overall accessibility with better connectivity. Bonza's arrival in the NT marks a significant milestone for the airline. It sees its route portfolio reach now another state in Australia, and I think very generally sees it move further inwards from the East Coast. The East Coast being home to a substantial number of their routes overall. The services will all operate twice weekly across differing days and are still subject to regulatory approval. That is going to conclude today's aviation news recap. I do apologize it wasn't maybe as diverse as normal and really focusing more so on route expansions, but it was a bit of a slower day. Don't worry though, tomorrow should be a pretty big one with some airlines filing for bankruptcy protection and much more. So make sure you're staying tuned. Thank you very much for your support and I'll see you next time. And we'll fly.